Okay, to start season two at Liverpool, we made a huge signing, bringing in Javi Simons from PSG. And in his first match, he did this. Over to Javi Simons. Finds the finesse shot, and the new signing may have just scored the winner. Oh, man, against his former team, he's going to celebrate, and he may have just won us this trophy. He looks like the real deal, and so far, we do too. We currently sit top of the Premier League after a 6-0 win versus Fulham at home, and we're not done with signings yet. At least one more is on the way, as we also make our return to the Champions League. So if you're enjoying the series, then drop a like, and let's get back into it. So the transfer window closes in three days, and there's reports saying that for selling Diogo Jota, we are looking for a backup striker for Nunez. And reports say it's going to be a busy deadline day for us. But first comment for the backup striker, you have Gakpo who can play there and also for right mid by Frimpong. Yeah, that is true. Gakpo can play as striker, but if we did that, then we have to sign a backup winger. So no matter what, we need another forward in the team. And while Frimpong is an absolutely insane right back, with our new three at the back system, our 3-5-2, I'm not sure if we actually need him or not. And next one, just to help you, do you know if you sell players, the ideal stars for the coaches becomes less? Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to sell all these players that really aren't good enough. Because all those loanies came back and we now have 40 players in the squad, which increased like the coach ideal stars stuff so yeah if we sell players they should go down and be easier to hit but also the game still crashes if i try to fire a coach so until that's fixed we actually cannot hire any more coaches and last one against top six teams play fullbacks and left mid and right mid so you can be more defensive but against small teams be more aggressive yeah that's the plan if we play a good team like man city i'd maybe put trent on right mid and then put like zoo mendy at cdm maybe so this system we can definitely go more attacking and more defensive and hey so far it's worked so well with us also winning the super cup in the last episode against the current champions league winners psg now it's only been three games but for now we're using this formation and testing it more so we got 351 million to spend and deadline day is only a day away so there is some work going on behind the scenes certain transfers are being worked on but before we decide we need to play Leeds United away and after two games we have the best defense in the league and also the best offense we score the most goals so I want to see if that continues this time versus Leeds United and once again Xavi Simons has played so well he gets another start I just can't drop him if he keeps playing that well so we'll also see if he continues that play in this game now Leeds are kind of like Fulham a team that we should beat so this should not be too complicated here we should start the season three wins out of three but sometimes games like this are not simple at all, so I don't know. Okay, early attack for Leeds looks kind of dangerous here. Xavi trying to up defend. Kanata makes tackle, and we should survive that. Oh, that's no, that's a bad. I should have just cleared it. That is how we start the episode. Daniel James scores. Man, I should have cleared it. I try to keep possession. I get punished for it. I should have just cleared it. I thought Kanata could have got this to Trent, but yeah, that was way too uh, big of a pass to make right there. Okay, our first goal conceded of the year, and that was just terrible. Come on, quick response. Cody Gakpo over in. Gakpo looking for pass. Looks for Salah. Goes all the way to Xavi Simone. Salah. Picks it up, shoots, and almost ties it up immediately. Man, good save by their keeper. Oh, Salah and Trent press when the ball back. Come on, boys. Quick response here. Salba slide over to Cody Gakpo. Should finish that, and just like that, it's 1-1. Man, notice how wide we attack. It's just so deadly. We got Sabasai, Nunez, and Salah occupying the middle, and then Xavi and Gakpo bombing down the wings. Like, if we're defensively sound enough, this formation is scary. And Cody Gakpo makes it 1-1. Okay, erase that early mistake. Callister gets it to Salah. Nunez is taking defenders away. Salah, oh man, I saw Gakpo last second. We still keep it though. McAllister, chance to shoot. That's off uh, Wolver's back, I think. Come on, we take the lead. It will be such a great recovery, and oh! Oh, that's a tap-in for Salah. What just happened there? I was going to say Nunez might have scored again from a corner, but it's a tap-in for Salah in the end. Okay, 1-0 down to 2-1 just like that. Man, Nunez, I don't know what he's done in the offseason, but in corners, he's all of a sudden so good. And that's very fortunate, but hey, we'll take what we can get. It just bounces right in front of Salah. Okay, 2-1, 38th minute. Okay, this Lincoln guy actually looks pretty good. He's got the enhanced intelligence and Patrick Bamford. Okay, we just got twisted up there. That Lincoln guy, I don't know who he is, but he created that chance. When the ball got to Bamford, it's like he turned right here and it just threw everyone off. We could not close them down quick enough. Okay, 2-2 two, two, just like that. It's another kind of poor goal to concede, and that's halftime. We've definitely played this game a little bit sloppy. So if we want to win, we got to change that. Trent, long ball to Gakpo. Good ball. Gakpo gets around one. Over to McAllister. Salah back to Trent. Trent over. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. It was almost beautiful in the end. Oh, no. That's a bad tackle. Wait. Wait, is it going to be yellow? Okay, I thought it was going to be a red. We all know Liverpool red cards are a hot topic right now. Thankfully, this time, it's not a red. Javi gets it to Salah. Salah over to Sobosly. With space to shoot, it's right at the keeper, though. They got Martin Bandvoort in goal. That's a pretty good signing for the lead. Salah. Crossing. Whoa, Salah. Were you trying to score from there? That was supposed to be a cross. We got 30 minutes. Currently tied up. This is a game we should win. If we want to be title challengers this year, this is a game we got to win. It's almost like two Darwin Nunez. Nunez tries to find space. He does. Almost too much space, and it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a corner instead. Right, loft it in. Someone get their head to it. It's Nunez, but it goes wide from Darwin Nunez. Okay, Diaz for Gakpo. Let's do Gavin Birch for McAllister, and I think... Uh, actually, let's do Kubo for McAllister and drop Solo Slide back. So, Kubo, I can. We're going very attacking here. We now have, what, like almost five forwards on the field? We are trying to get this win. Hopefully, we don't concede because of it, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Van Dyke almost just got a second yellow. 
That's a me in the box. Kanate. Oh, the drag back. Oh, Bamford's doing this to me. No way. Okay, are they going to do something with it? What are they doing here? They're being so patient. Kanate, need to tackle here. Kanate can't get a tackle. Oh my, what is happening here? They are just holding onto this ball right now. There's a shot. Van Dyke uh, blocks it and we survived that. That wasted so much time. Kubo out to Trent. Trent is looking for a pass here. Might be Nunez. Might be Nunez. Nunez shoots and Darwin Nunez may have just found the winner. Okay, we still have 10 minutes left, but the lead has been taken. Yeah, they just gave Darwin way too much space. That first touch right there created that chance. Okay, now Trent out wide and then Zumendi on for Simone. Let's do that. A little bit more defense in the team. We got 90 minutes. Just hold this lead now. Double slide. Zumendi gets it up to Darwin Nunez. Over to Mo Salah. Oh, I tried to dink the keeper, but Salah never got a touch on it. We got one minute left and Kubo might be in here. Kubo. Kubo. Good first touch. Oh, great first touch. This should be... Another goal. Oh, Kubo's shot is right at Vandevoort. Kubo, you got to get down the side of the keepers, but thankfully it doesn't matter. This game was not easy, but it's going to be a 3-2 win. A little shaky there, just a little bit. But three games in, we still sit top of the Premier League. And now it's time for transfer deadline day. So 1,000% we need a backup striker for Nunez or another forward if we play Gakpot striker. So that's one signing we need. Now, I did see some comments talking about Jude Bellingham. Honestly, I think with us moving Trent to midfield, we don't really need Bellingham right now. And he still only spent a year at Real Madrid, so maybe season three, we could look at Bellingham again. But our signing is going to be a striker. And I think I've narrowed it down to two targets here. First one is Kareem Adeyemi. Now, he's definitely not an out and out striker. He's a player that could play on the left, right, or striker, which would fit our system very well. And most importantly, he's got high attacking and defensive work rates. So he fits Klopp's system. And then the other potential target is going to be Jonathan David. Same thing for him. He can play on the wing, play at striker. He's got high attack and defensive work rates. I feel like these are two forwards that really fit Jurgen Klopp's system. And honestly, it's so hard to pick. Adeyemi's younger. He's probably got more potential. But I would say right now, Jonathan David's probably the better player overall. I'm going to be honest. My gut is telling me to sign. Jonathan David. For whatever reason, I feel like he's the right choice. I could see him being a great option in Jurgen Klopp's system, so it might cost about like 50 million. So let's start with maybe like 47. 47.5. They're gonna they want semicon, so they're gonna want like almost 59 value for him. Man, 59. Let's go straight 50. 50 million for Jonathan David, and they want 52. I mean, it's a lot of money for a backup striker, but obviously money's not an issue for us right now. So 51.5 million. Okay, 52 million. I'll accept that. We may have found our backup striker to Nunez. To me, he feels more like Liverpool signing than Adiemi right now. So I believe we have made our choice. And just like that, Jonathan David is officially signed up. Now, while he probably doesn't have as much potential as Adiemi, he's still only 24 years old, so it's not like he's old. So Xavi Simons and then Jonathan David brought in. These are two just really, really good players that I feel like will just perfectly fit in this team. We'll see if that's true. So Jonathan David, welcome to Liverpool. And I think with how well we've started this season, I don't think this team needs any more signings right now. I like the way we look, honestly. So David and Xavi Simons, the additions in this first window of season two. And I'm feeling very good about this season. So just like that, the transfer window is now shut. Now, we were only able to trim our squad down to 38 but definitely throughout the season we'll try to sell more of the players that just aren't good enough so we are now set up for the first half of the season though and our next game is gonna be against spurs and after yesterday this one hurts it's too soon for this that was just a painful game at least we get a chance for redemption in the save i think this game i'm gonna bench uh chavi simons and against spurs we go with pretty much our highest rated lineup so a true test for this uh three of the back system come on i put a lot of faith in mcallister we didn't sign a midfielder i feel like mcallister is definitely good enough to be uh be our number eight pretty much so put faith and a lot of players are already here will it pay off we're gonna find out Oh my, McAllister, what did he just do to Solomon? He just did a big old flip. Now, John David's definitely going to make his debut in this game at some point. I'm just not sure when. His debut is coming, though. Okay, this is a lot of Spurs possession start of the game, which is not good. They're pretty much just holding on to it. Not doing anything yet. Trent, okay, Trent steals. Now we can actually, like, take possession of the ball. Nunez through to Diaz. Diaz dinks it up to Salah. Salah's not going to reach that, though. It's almost like great ball to Nunez. Nunez over to Salah. Could be a great start. Lloris does make the save, though. Okay, that was a very good attack. Now, Nunez from another corner. Can you score again? Nunez. Gets to it, but that header was terrible. He was like going backwards on it. All right, other than that chance, it's been kind of a slow start here. Honestly, way too much uh, Spurs possession. Okay, McAllister got destroyed there. Van Dyke has his back though. Double slide, Diaz gets it over to McAllister. Tries to find someone, goes all the way to Cody Gakpo, shoots across goal, and Lloris makes another save. Okay, that is two really good chances for us. Corner in, Salah. Gets to it, and Salah hits the crossbar. Okay, the chance is starting to come. This has been a very good, like, 15-minute spell, but where's the goal at? Trent is going to find Salah. Oh, okay, we were just way too congested there. We're, like, running in each other's way. Man, if you really good chances, couldn't score him, and that's pretty much going to be the first half, though. I think so far, we've been slightly the better team, though. Second half begins. Will there be a breakthrough? Cody Gakpo is already making a run here. Okay, someone's got to help him out, though. He's got no support. Gakpo, cross over all the way to Diaz. Okay, that was not a bad cross. Oh, McAllister, great steal. Goes into Darwin Nunez to score the first goal of the game. And he took so long to shoot. Oh, man, I wanted to shoot quicker than that. I don't know why it took so long. Okay, Solomon, great touch by him. Kanate, oh, we got destroyed. Kanate, great recovery tackle, though. Saudi Gakpo, Gakpo might have Nunez. Nunez stops. 
Gets it. Oh, we tried to get to Salah. Man, Nunez was so slow on that pass. He was gone by so quick. Honestly, the ball is not going out a lot. Like, this clock is running. We got 30 minutes. It's still nil-nil. Trent, Salah. Great touch by Salah. Get it to Trent. Now, Trent. Slide it over. Nunez. Back to Sobo Sly. Back to Darwin. Nunez shoots. And Lloris makes another great save. Come on. I'm feeling a corner goal here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Darwin Nunez. Lloris can't save that one. What has gotten into Darwin Nunez from corners this year? He literally cannot stop scoring from corners. I don't know what we changed or what. But Trent delivery. And then uh, Nunez just climbs. And it's a great header. Actually, it's a very bad save by Lloris. Like, for all the good saves he's made, this one's pretty much right at him. He just can't do anything with it. Man, that's, that is terrible. I mean, hey, we'll take it. It's been a tough game. 20 minutes left. 1-0 lead. Okay, this is some very bad spacing. Van Dyke versus Ndombele. Oh, Ndombele destroyed me, and it's going to be 1-1. Man, I went for an attack with Van Dyke, and Ndombele just dragged it back on me. Honestly, our positioning was terrible here. We had, like, Kanate pushed up forward there. That move is so good, though. All right, it's time. Jonathan David and Xavi both on. Both new signings. Also, Gravin Birch, McAllister, we're doing that. And, okay, 13 minutes now to try and win this game. Could we see another big goal from a new signing in Jonathan David, like Xavi scored against PSG? Or could Xavi get us the win? Double slide's got space. Your solo slide. Gonna dink it up to Jonathan David. Oh, man. He was right there for that header. Over to Xavi. Into Salah. Salah. No, I wasn't gonna get it to Solba Salah. He had a chance to shoot there. Oh, no. Richarlison's in. Kanate might have him. Kanate does have him. No, any players to get him? Oh, okay, I thought they were gonna win there. We got four minutes. Trent to Salah. Salah. Dinks it up to Xavi. Xavi tries to head it backwards. Oh, man. Couldn't do anything with that, though. We got one chance here. Solba Salah. Grevin Birch over to Mo Salah and Mo Salah scored the last minute winner. Oh my, just like Tottenham did to us in real life. I mean, not exactly. It's not an own goal, but oh, it's sweet, sweet revenge. Oh, that feels so good. Grevin Birch, great assist to Salah and Salah. You can't give him space there. He's going to finish that. Oh, that's a win that just feels immaculate. Of course, it's Mo Salah to carry the team on his back when we need him to. And that is pretty much the final kick of the game. 2-1 win. Man, that game was tough, but we continue our great start to the year. And we had to show some fight back in this game. Man, our great start of the season continues though albeit barely and hey only a very small cameo from jonathan david but he will get more chances in this episode now our next game is a very special one it is our first game back in the champions league so our group is juventus lens and then young boys i would say that should be a pretty uh straightforward group i guess uh, that right there is the group of death this year so we avoid that but our first champions league game is going to be against juventus which is not going to be easy now jurgen klopp before this game says that it's great to be back in the champions league it's where this team deserves to be and our plan is to stay in it from here on out now jonathan david gets the start at left wing we're gonna try that and also Kubo, Gravenberch, and Simicon come in. So rotations in a very big game We're gonna see if we can still get our win in our return to the Champions League Oh man, Champions League football at Anfield is back. It is a wonderful thing to see I still wish we had like the walkouts apparently on old gen on ps4 and xbox one They have like the walkouts and stuff, but we don't on next gen now I'm not sure how that makes sense, but i'm still hoping they added at some point first game though Liverpool versus Juventus big start for Jonathan David Let's see how we do almost like gives it to Gravenberch can we get off to a good start? Okay, that shot was so bad. So Bosal gets it over. Gravenberch, you're not shooting again this time. Okay, we try to get it over to uh, Nunez there. Okay, Vendis got Bruno Gimades. That's a very good signing. They got Malin. Bruno Gimades is actually a very good team. But this might be a good start. Okay, I thought Salah was more free than he was. Kind of a hectic start here. Okay, Chiesa is just running through the defense. Gets it to Vlaovic. Oh, Van Dyke need a good tackle. That is a very good tackle. Man, players that have a little arrow above them, they're just different. It's definitely the player based difficulty I'm seeing. Okay, Jonathan David. Chance for first assist, maybe. Gets it over. No, Nunez. If he runs a little closer, he's got a free, like, tap in almost. That is not David's fault. Okay, so, oh, Simicon, great tackle there. Okay, this game is being played at a million miles a minute. Or I guess I should say kilometers. Oh my, Nunez got a shot off that off a tackle. I don't know what just happened there. That is such a Nunez thing to do. See, this is where Jonathan David's like high defensive and attacking work rates come in handy. Because without that, he probably can't play as a wing backer, like a left winger in this formation. Oh, that's a, oh, okay, it is foe for each other there. What a sequence. This game is already chaos. Revan Birch into Jonathan David. Chance to go for a shot. Jonathan David scores his first goal for Liverpool. Oh, man, that was such a good shot. I feel like he's going to be such a good signing like Xavi Simone. If that's his first goal, I think it's a good sign. Man, just cutting inside and that much power. Just two touches basically outside the box. Just behind Salah, right through Salah, actually. Man, welcome to Anfield, Jonathan David. What a moment for him. We are building a deadly team. As soon as I say that, Kiesa is through. Don't let me jinx it in real time. Bro, like the arrow makes them play so much better. These players are like scary. Honestly, as they should be, like these players in real life are scary. It's pretty much exactly as it should be. The better players should play better than everyone else. I mean, that should be pretty obvious. Okay. 
Wait, is that Gavi playing for Juventus? Okay, what is this Juve team? They signed Gavi. Okay, please. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Vlaovic gets it. Robo, good tackle. Oh my, I'm going to throw up. And that is halftime. All right, 1 0. John David's uh, first goal for Liverpool separating us at halftime. And I want Kubo to play better. I feel like he had a very good first episode, but since then, he's not really finishing his chances. Although in this game, he hasn't had many. Sobosly, chance to here. Sobosly shoots. Oh, that just went right by the post. And Sobosly looks so weird without his tattoos. He looks like a different player. Oh, this is dangerous. Gumades, Grevenberg, great tackle. Tackle and okay, Vlaovic. No, how did he keep that in? Okay, Ali grabs it. Wait, I think it was handball. I think it was played off of Vlaovic's hand. Yeah, it was. Oh, this game's a little bit weird right now. Darwin through to Jonathan David. Good first touch. David looking for a pass. Plays a great pass to Soboslai. Soboslai controls it. Crossover. Jonathan David's there for it. Oh, it's gonna be cleared. Man, David is looking solid though. Trent wins that. Trent left footed shot from distance. Salah header. Oh, okay, what was that? That went so high in the air. Was that actually off Salah? That was off Salah. Wait, what? Okay, 25 minutes left. It's still 1 0. Feels like the Spurs game a lot. Like, I would not be surprised if they make it 1 1 at some point. They've looked like threatening enough which they look threatening right here Vlaovic gets it over Trent Trent great tackle from the midfield now Trent long ball Kubo Kubo great touch Salah great touch Nunez please get to it oh he took so long David's gonna try to get it but it's gonna be cleared I'm on a goal here just find this goal and it'll seal it Trent might have Salah goes to Soboslai Soboslai chance to shoot and Soboslai may have gave us a win in our first game back in the Champions League what a shot okay there's the goal we needed yeah Soboslai left footed shot it's just so powerful right into the corner that's kind of similar to the goal we scored against uh, Leicester a little bit all right subs on final 10 minutes got some uh, rest for Nunez Trent and Salah once again this game was not easy but it looks like it's gonna be a win we're not exactly dominating like the like the last episode but still we are finding ways to win I mean am I jinxing it because there's still a lot of game left I mean not a lot but you know what I mean am I jinxing it I hope not there's a chance that I am jinxing it we modest shoots all the post saves me and Kiesa. No, okay, what's happening here? What's happening here? Gomez gets it. Okay, it's just a pile up. What am I seeing? Diaz, Zubamendi gets it through. Is it Jonathan David? No, it's Gravenberg, but he's got Jonathan David. And Jonathan David has two on his Anfield debut. Okay, just uh, they won all four there. And 3 0, we have sealed this game. Yeah, David's gonna be a great signing. I have no doubt. Just the energy he brings to the team with those work rates, it just fits in so well with everyone else. And our first game back in the Champions League is gonna be a great win. 3 0 to start our Champions League journey this year. So, great start of the Champions League. Now we try and continue our great start in the Premier League, which so far, us and Man City, five games, five wins. It shows when we be a title challenger, we gotta keep up with Man City. And that is not gonna be easy. And the next game is the Merseyside. Derby, which Everton only have one point from five games. That's pretty bad. I mean, their team, I guess their team doesn't look good at all. They got Nacho Fernandez at right back. He's the captain of the team. That is a little bit weird, but hey, let's go for another win. I'm telling you, this team just feels different this year. I don't know if it's formation, if it's just players getting better, but we just feel like a different team, and Salah's already made it 1-0. Oh, this might be a long day for Everton. It might be a very long day. They've only taken one point from five games. This one might be a tough one for them. Alistair gets it over to Xavi. Simons, could shoot across goal he does and Pickford barely makes the save Bravo cross in Nunez again from a corner okay what is that header that wasn't even anywhere near okay hold up I think okay Salah went for a bicycle kick that it might have just injured that guy okay I thought it was handball by someone but apparently not so slice shoots it's blocked Nunez will then shoot himself and it's blocked again I don't even know what just happened there oh Kanate that's a powerful tackle wait that was a foul okay he dragged it back I thought I was gonna say if that was a foul you don't need any more dodgy decisions uh referee decisions against us anymore oh no that's a good touch that's a very good touch Allison great save not a penalty Man, Allison is so good he is the best keeper in the world in my opinion Sobo Sly with the worst clearance I've ever seen though thankfully not punished for it Trent long ball to Nunez oh my what a ball by Trent if that comes off that'd have been insane Sobo Sly from distance, it's blocked by Onana. I want to see where that's going. Nunez to Salah. Back to Nunez. Nunez tries to ding it up to Salah. Man, these dinks never work. Salah never wins those headers. Which, speaking of Salah, here he is. Over to Javi Simone's shot. And that goes well wide. Okay, this is one of the game where we need to get the second goal. Just take control of the game. Oh my, there are some rough tackles in this one. How is it on a car? That should be at least a yellow for Robbo. That's a great... Oh, that's a great free kick. The ball is just bouncing around. And it's cleared by Chavi. Alistair, Sobosai, Sobosai. We got a chance to shoot now. No, let's go over to Chavi. Chavi, Sala, Sala. Oh, we got to get it to Sobosai quicker there. Okay, first half. It should be 2 0 right now, but it is only 1 0 courtesy of Sala. Chavi's dribbling. Gets it to Sobosai. Should be 2 0. Oh, Sobosai. This shot is right at Pickford. I'm aiming for the corner. You got to get it to the corner. Sala, trying to get it back to Sala. Sala. But that shot. Whoa, that first touch was terrible. He took it like to the right. Xavi to Salah. Come on, boys. Find this second. If we don't, we leave the door open for Everton. Xavi over to Nunez. What a ball and what a goal by Darwin Nunez, man. Xavi Simons, what a pass. There is the second goal we've been looking for. 30 minutes left. Everton, I feel like you stand no chance here. You shouldn't have even showed up. I mean, to be fair, they could have made it 1-1 easily. So maybe I'm uh, maybe not being humble enough. Oh my, man. Our teammate press is just so good. And now Darwin Nunez 
Gets it to Salah, and it's gonna be 3 0. And sometimes these teams just can't, like, take our press. In this year's game, like, the press, I've never had it work this well. Like, we steal the ball so much. Case in point, Nunez, what a tackle. Salah, no, we could have got all. Oh, we could have had four right there. Oh, man, Nunez just took out took out Pickford. That's unfortunate. It's definitely gonna be a yellow card. Oh, are they gonna win back here? Are they gonna get one back? Oh, Nana has it, but Simicon makes a great tackle. Man, every signing we've made just feels like it's been a very good signing. Maybe Zubamendi and Kubo have been a little bit underwhelming, but everyone else have been, like, home run signings. As I say, that Xavi player is a terrible pass. Javi, I jinxed you. David, great ball to Salah. Salah could make this four. Salah has a pass. Oh, we're getting sweaty this game. It's going to be 4-0. We need a towel because this game has been very sweaty. But Xavi on the score sheet again. And uh, Murray's side derby. Everton just stood no chance here. I keep waiting for us to like slow down, start playing a little bit worse, but we just keep on winning. And Salah is starting to come alive this season. He's now the top scorer. Joint with Nunez with seven. And I mean, Xavi with three, uh, David with three. The new signings are looking very, very good. And speaking of those two, in training, they're showing why we signed them. Like they're working hard in training and everyone sees it. Jonathan David and Xavi Simones are fitting right into this team perfectly. And they're a big reason why we started the season off so strongly. And it looks like Man City actually lost. So we have a chance to take very much control of first place here. And it's going to be against Aston Villa. So the question is, can we continue this great run? And look at that. Sal had like a slow start to the year. He's now the Premier League top scorer. So that shows how much he's recovered there. But okay, come on boys. I just want to see this continue. I am dreading when we start to drop our form a little bit because uh, so far we have not lost a game yet. Actually, we won every game. That is how good we played. Robertson, great tackle. Okay, that's a good pass. Good pass. Oh, Oh, I thought we made a tackle there. I thought we made a tackle and he just kept the ball. Okay, John the David's former team takes a 1-0 lead against us. Man, I thought we made the tackle, but he just kind of kept it. Right here, tackle by Robbo, and I guess he actually turned. We actually did not make a tackle. Okay, that's a bad start. Nine minutes in, already 1-0 down. Well, we will recover from this. We always do. At least we have recently, which right now, Nunez, chance to shoot. Oh, that's going to fall for us, but we can't get the shot off this time. Okay, Diaby, please stop. I know you're quick, but please stop. Diaby. Kanate, strong defending, and we're going to clear it. Soba slide header to Darwin Nunez. Over to Diaz. Gets it back to Nunez. Nunez through to Mo Salah. Mo Salah, okay. Pau Torres, like, I guess he's strong. He just kind of outmuscled uh, Salah there pretty easily. Trent wins ball back. Get to tie this up quickly. Callister lays it off to Trent. First time shot by Trent. That looked good, but it's going to be cleared. Nunez gets it to Sobosai. Sobosai, great dribbling. Khan's a great tackle. Okay, Villa are for real. They've started to team off very strongly. And once again, Diaby just is running past everyone on my defense except Kanate. Kanate. Oh, the drag back was insane. Van Dyke blocked that with his face. And we don't concede the second there. Salah gets it over to Xavi Simons. Xavi crossover. Okay, decent cross. It'll get to Luis Diaz, I think. Yes, it will. Diaz, round one. Oh, great dribbling. Gets it to Mo Salah. And just like that, it's tied up. And it feels like we always just bounce back this season so far. The cross by Xavi actually turned out to be a very good pass. Because then Diaz got by his defender and created the space for uh, Salah. And okay, it is all tied up. We are currently bounced back FC right now. You can argue we're kind of like that in real life too. Okay, it's oh, okay. This guy might score again. And Allison takes him out, and Allison's gonna grab it. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I guess it's half time and it's tied up. Okay, this is a bad start, Chavi. Oh, missed tackle. We just went flying. Okay, Ramsey gets it in. Same guy was scored. Van Dyke misses a tackle. Allison, great save though. Bro, Allison is just insane. Salah, Sobo Sly might have something here. Gets it over to Chavi. Chavi, deep little cross here. Okay, it's gonna be a corner instead. Right, lofted cross in. That's perfect. Oh, Nunez was there for that. Van Dyke. We'll go for the shot, and that's off Kanza. We got 30 minutes to score the go-ahead goal now. Double slide. Nunez gets it over to Diaz. Diaz into Salah. Salah over to Xavi. We just move this ball around so quickly. That cross is going to be another corner, though. All right, Nunez, I believe in you from corner still. I believe in you, Nunez. Flips up to Sobo Sly, and that hits the post. Okay, I, again, I don't even know what that was. Almost like a very weird flicked on header. Sal gets to that, but it's going to go right to Martinez. 20 minutes left. Game is going by pretty quickly here. Trent up to Xavi. Xavi turns. Gets it through to Trent. Trent. Pass back. It's going to be a shot. Oh, man. It's an open net, but it's going to be blocked. Pretty sure that was Sobo Sly. All right. David Kubo on. Also Gakpo on. Got some fresh legs in the attack to try and find this winner now. But time is running out. Trent. Okay. What a steal by Trent. Salah. Around one. Oh, we can find this right now. Salah gets it over. One more pass. Sobo Sly. Is David on side? I think he was offside. I think that was one too many passes right there. Oh, man. I should have just shot with Sobo Sly. I thought David had the better chance, like the tap in maybe. But he's offside, clearly. I guess EA can draw lines, but actual Premier League in real life can't. And we got four minutes. Is this going to be our first drop points of the year? Or can we find something special? Come on, win the ball back. Robo, good steal. Okay, we have a chance here. Three minutes at it on. There's a chance. Gakpo, David. Gets it. Sobo Sly, Sobo Sly. No. Okay, get it to Gakpo. Good pass. Gakpo. No. David was going to be in there. Gakpo. Pau Torres steals it. Oh, man. That was going to be right into Jonathan David's stride for a shot. Okay, first drop points. I feel like that game we could have definitely won, but we stay in first place. We're good. Definitely not as sharp this game. 
And look at that. Trent Alexander-Arnold is definitely uh, taking advantage of that midfield role now as he currently leads the Prem in assists. And then Salah is tied with Berardi for uh, the top scorer. But now a Champions League match against probably the third best team in this group. Currently in first with a three-point lead. And we don't want to let Juve have any chance of getting first over us. So this game is very important to win. But changes for us. Jonathan David starts a striker. We got Kubo on the left wing. We got Xavi on the right. And then uh, Gomez and Semikon start alongside Van Dyke. So we do have some rotations, but still should win this game. We're going to see more of our new signing, Jonathan David. See if he continues to look like the good signing that I think he is. Okay, honestly, this is a good start for them. This guy is in a very dangerous spot. Very dangerous. Semikon tries to get it. Can't. Swinging it around. Okay, Van Dyke. Okay, that's not the greatest tackle, but he does recover after it. David gets it out to Kubo. 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 Almost a really good pass to David. I don't know how Kubo got that, but he did. Okay, David. Salah brings that defender. David looking for a chance to score and David does score. Okay, once again, I don't know how this chance is created. I don't know how Kubo got that pass. He blocked it, he intercepted it, and then Soblesai picked it up. I would say more fortune for us and then Salah dragged those defenders. And once again, new signing, Jonathan David scores again. All right, great start. 15 minutes in, already 1-0. You guys in the comments that uh, suggested Jonathan David, I think you guys were right. So far, he's looked really good. And while it's hard to replace an 87-rated Diogo Jota, so far, he's done a good job as they almost just tied it up. Kevin Birch out to Chavi. Good pass. Chavi cuts inside, gets it to Salah. Salah dink over the top, maybe. Okay, I don't know what that was either. That was almost handball by them. Oh, Kevin Birch. Just what a tackle. Now, Kubo leading this counterattack. Sobo is running. We might find David down the middle. We do find David. David looking for another goal. And David has another goal. Bro, Chavi and Jonathan David have been home run signings. He's got two in this game. And that was all off a Gravenberch tackle too in the midfield. He's so quick to find these spots. And like he's so agile, I think. And uh, David's on hat trick. And 35 minutes in, it's 2 0. So far, so good. I mean, is it crazy to say that Jonathan David's underrated? Because I mean, I know we know, we know he's a great player and stuff. But like, I'm not sure I knew he was this good. Is he better than Chavi Simone's? I don't know. Trent. From distance, that's off that man's arm. Salah, Salah. Oh, wait, what was that? Wait, Salah was in a score. Why do we Why do we drag it back? Okay, is it finally time for me to score my first free kick of FC24? Oh, man, I might give it a Sobo Slide. Sobo Slide has never had a chance so far. Let's do Sobo Slide. Sobo Slide from the free kick spot. Sobo Slide. Can he score? Sobo Slide. Oh, that's a great save. That needed to be more in the corner, though. That was way too close to the keeper. Okay, first half. So far, so good. I want John the David to get this hat trick. Javi Simons lifts it up. You know what? That was almost... Okay, Kubo... Put his body on the line for that. David off to Salah. We got a space now. Can Kubo finally score and get the goal he deserves? Kubo shoots and Kubo does score. Okay. He has not scored in a while, so that's a big goal for him. For his confidence. And 3-0, 60th minute. We are now running away with this game. Bro, look at Xavi doing like wing back stuff there. Once again, the work rates are why this formation works, I think. Those players just work so hard on the pitch. Now, Trent... Cross over to Jonathan David. He didn't even leap for that. Salah after David. Could this be the hat trick for Jonathan David? The new signing. Oh my. Yes, it is. Okay. He is underrated, I think. I didn't know he was this good. Jonathan David, hat trick in the Champions League. And so far, he's been amazing. He's so agile. His stats aren't like insane, but something about his physical stats. He just gets by players so easily. And I thought uh, Chavi Simons was a great find. Jonathan David might be an even better find. And we are still looking for one more of this game if we can get it. Trent, long ball to Salah. Trent, what a ball to Salah. Salah doesn't have quite the stamina to get it, though. All right. That's going to be it. Okay. 4 0 win. Jonathan David, hat trick. He looks like absolutely the real deal, like Chavi Simons. Once and our two signings this season have been home runs. So great start to our return in the Champions League. Now in the Premier League, we drew a game. So that means Man City retake first place. Hey man, that just shows we've been playing good, but we're still only in second. To beat Man City, it's going to have to be this consistently over a whole season. But I would say so far, signs indicate that this team is up for that, especially with our new signings playing this well. And uh, speaking of additions to the team, we currently have some uh, youth scouting reports back. So next episode, we'll see what we find. Maybe we find another new Liverpool star. But if you enjoyed, drop a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to see me make names are the best player in the world then click on screen